Hi there, we are here in the studio of Penny Roberson at the Nickel Plate Arts Campus in downtown Noblesville. And um, thanks for spending some time with us today, Penny. Um, why don't you tell us briefly a little bit about yourself and your artwork? Uh, my artwork is um, my favorite thing to do because I'm retired and I'm a retired teacher. So I was an art teacher for um, 23, 4, 24 years, something like that. And uh, I'm always really interested in kids and I, and I like flowers. So I tend to paint a lot of flowers and I have a couple series going on what is kids. Um, kids today and what they're doing and how different they are uh, and yet they're not. <laughs> kids are kids. So that's kind of my preoccupation, and I love flowers because, um, like kids, they're not, they're, they're pretty tough, and they keep coming back, and they don't give up, and uh, I think we don't think of flowers quite that way. Yeah, and, they're resilient. Yeah, they are, yeah. They've got grit, you know, and uh, so do kids, you know, especially living through these times today, you know, it's, I'm, I'm listening and watching my friends and family who teach uh, deal with the situation today and it's tough. Um, but we have art and art is a great, art can take you away and then you can create your own world. Yeah, and, and when you're creating, you uh, deal mainly in oils, is that right? Yeah, I work mainly in oils, yeah. Okay, well, um, why don't you show us around okay. um, your studio and then talk to us about the different types of things that you have for sale. Okay. Uh, my prices for my artwork, uh, just so you know when you look at it, I don't have anything over $300, and I have a lot of things for $100, $150, $200 right in there. And um, so just take a look. This is, um, these are just small studies over here, and I do these as kind of daily practice. And so far, nothing like that looks like Rembrandt has dropped off the brush yet, but you never know. <laughs> the key to, to anything is to do it every day, and that's what I try to do. Sure. And then I have some animals here. Uh, and some fruit and flowers. They're always fun to paint because the fruit and flowers are fun because they don't move and you don't have to pay them. They're not models. <laughs> but um, the animals are really unusual because they you they usually, they come over to the fence and stare at you and um, that they're fun and they just seem to have a lot of character. So, so they're fun to paint. And you've got some bins down here yes. of these originals, yes. uh, kind of quick studies, yeah. um, but some really nice colors. And yeah textures and everything? Just as, these are my everyday, some, and the good studies I go on and develop into larger paintings usually. Um, but these are unframed studies, and people, and I do sell them for 50 cents, I mean $50. 50 cents? No, $50. 50, cents. 50 It's a really nice mug, and yeah. your, your colors are really vibrant. I'm looking oh, at that you. one, that's really nice. Oh, thank you. Um, well, yeah, let's keep, yeah. keep, keep looking around. Uh, so starting right here, these are mostly flowers, and I'm kind of real preoccupied with uh, hydrangeas. I love hydrangeas. I think everybody does. They're so big and floppy, and they're kind of formal, and yet they're so down to earth. Uh, and it, to me, they almost have personality. <laughs> and I like the river, and I do the river studies. I've done several of those. Well, this one's got a ribbon on it. Tell us about that. Oh, well, that was third place from uh, awarded from um, Nickel Plate in the show uh, that we had just before the gift show. It's yeah. just opened. And... Um, I'll show you this one really quickly when I was talking about my kids series. Mm -hmm. uh, this is a little girl that I saw in a shopping mall and she was of course busy on her phone. And sometimes I spend a lot of time in the library, sometimes just researching and sometimes just reading. And so I called this one Library Kids, mm -hmm. which I love because they're reading of course and they're not terribly wound up with the phone or anything like that. And then here's more flowers. And this was out of just a farm scene right here. And that was kind of a, uh, the hay bales kind of, everybody likes hay bales. It's mm -hmm. kind of quintessential Indiana. Sure. This one down here is a light, is a still life that's full of light and uh, it's a little more casual than mm. some of my things are. Mm -hmm. And then I worked really large and I think this is 30 by 30. I have another one 30 by 40 and another one 30 by 30. They are, uh, to paint large is really fun. Yeah, it's challenging, and uh, I just I just love the the hydrangeas that really. Let's go from really large to really small. Now yeah. I understand you have card packs, and those yes. are one of the things that are for sale in the yeah. nickel plate gift shop, right? Yeah, these I usually have my paintings photographed, uh, 
and then I just put them in packages. And um, and then on the back, it will say um, who it's by and the studio and everything. Um, and I did have a friend, I had a couple friends who are involved with um, sending cards on a regular basis to people who are uh, in hospice care or in some way or another don't, aren't able to get out. And they said they really enjoyed sending a card that was a photograph of a painting that uh, someone had done. They just got more out of it and that they felt good about that. So I decided that maybe it wasn't too egotistical. <laughs> to <do> sure. <laughs> well, I actually, so uh, you see the, the palette knife in your hand. Uh, I actually interrupted what you were working yeah. on today, didn't I? Oh yeah, I just uh, I just was doing this boat and um, just, I like Group A. He's an American artist and I look at his stuff. He does a lot of boats in New England. So I tried to, tried to do my boat and I've got, I think I've got one up there. I think that's the last one I've got. Uh, people like to buy boats. They like, they're, they're sort of romantic mm -hmm. and uh, they sort of suggest lots of places to go and places to be from. And, well, and so when we're talking about a, you know, gift for the holiday season, yeah. um, now I want, I think people know this, but uh -huh. they can buy stuff for themselves. Oh yeah, absolutely. Um, and this is another great yeah. hyd hydrangea, uh, larger format yes, painting. Yes, that's, that's uh, stocks. This one is actually uh, Riverside Cemetery, and you can see um, this back in here is a um, grave of a Civil War soldier way towards the back, and then mm -hmm. the river's out here. Sure. And I forget why we painted there, but that did that um, some time ago. Just the light was so beautiful. I don't usually paint cemeteries, but you know, light is light. <laughs> sure. Um, and it was so beautiful, and it was nice to think, think of that it has that historical reference. So if, if people want, um, they can come up here uh, to Nickel yeah. Plate during our open gallery hours, which are yeah. Wednesday through Friday from noon to five and Saturdays from 10 to five, mm -hmm. and look through this great, uh, uh, there's lots of different options um, from smaller stuff to bigger stuff to frame stuff. Um, if you want, you know, this is, it's starting at, these are roughly about $50 a piece. Well, they are $50 a piece. Um, and they're just small studies because I try to paint a lot. And um, and then when they're framed, they get, get a little more expensive because, of course, I buy the frame. And I try to frame them in gold or silver or black. Sure. Uh, whatever makes the painting look really good. But you don't have to buy it if you don't. If you want the painting and you don't want the frame, that's okay. Yeah. Well, and Penny, I have a feeling people are going to um, watch us and really get a good feel for your... You've got this elegant style that feels uh, a little European, a uh, little... Um, free flowing and it's really nice. Um, where, how can people find you either online or how can they get a hold of you that that you want to give out? Yeah, um, come to my studio. I'm right here. I have some things online. A friend of mine that puts them on in, um, I can't think of the name of it, but, but anyway, I'll think of it in a minute. Um, and they, I do do sell sometimes online. Uh, most of the time I sell from people who just come up to the studio and sit down and go through a stack of paintings. And that's kind of a, a compliment to the artist, you know, that, to really, you know, hone in on that and look, look for things that you're interested in, uh, like boats or flowers or people or ideas or different ideas I have. Um, let's see, and how else can they get in touch with me? I have a, a card, I have a studio here in uh, Nickel Plate and um, you can, but you're welcome to come to the studio. I'm usually here most days, three to four to five days a week, something like that. And uh, just give me a call and we can make an appointment uh, and you can come up and rummage to your heart's content. I'm always anxious to sell because I'm running out of room. <laughs> yeah, you, you paint, uh, yeah. you paint so frequently and, and you paint rather quickly. Yeah. And so, um, People need to, to buy some artwork this holiday yeah, season. Yeah, they do. It would give me more room. And if you see something you really want, um, you know, talk to me about price. Talk to me about what you really are willing to pay. I know I um, there have been people here at Nickel Plate. I love their work. And I just said, I want it. I'll send you $100 a month until it's paid for it. And I said, <laughs> okay. So that just kind of gives you an idea of uh, how laid back we all are. I, feel, I don't depend on this to eat. So I'm, I know I'm fortunate enough to have done, been able to do what I love to do all my life, which is teach and be with kids and paint and dabble in art. But now I get to do it every day. And uh, so that's, it's a real, it's a real blessing to be here. I love being at Nickel Plate. It's just made my life 
so much better to be with friends that you know I care about and that can help me with painting. And we all get in a jam and say, I don't know what to do about this. I don't know how to do that. Fresh pair of eyes is needed and they're always right here at Nickel Play. It's Great. really fun. Great. Well, thank you, Penny, for spending some time with us today and showing us around your studio. And um, if anyone's interested in her paintings, uh, stop by Nickel Plate Arts and um, it's all here. It's all here. Thanks to Nickel Play. Thank you. Thanks, Penny.